Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. We're racing a horse. I don't know what's happening. We're racing a horse. In the last episode of uh, the Blood and Wine DLC, we defeated a Shalmar, which was happening in a tournament kind of situation uh, for the Duchess of Toussaint. And just afterwards, we spoke with the Duchess about the murders that are ha the series of murders that are happening in her region. Uh, and we determined that the next murder would be happening any second now, and it would be our friend Milton. So we're off to the races to try and save him. That's 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 what's happening. That's the intro. I'm gonna hit the unpause button, and things are gonna get very tense. I'm gonna the save him. We're racing. We're we're running. We're sprinting. Look at this view of the palace. Clear the path. Clear the way, I said. Clear the way. No place like home. Lots of quest updates, character entries. Let's go. Go, 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 go. I'm racing. I'm trying to get there. God, this is really beautiful. It's here, just around the corner. Hurry. We must go to where the game is being held. The a lot happening. The must find a unicorn's horn, a golden fish, and a phoenix egg. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hare, Milton, hides. You mean we need to find those things too? We've no other option, but time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. Okay, so we have to play the game that they have set up. Except it sounds like we're going to cheat at the game a little bit. Unicorn horn? Something else? On second thought, through here. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. Okay. Splitting up? Leaving you alone? You I don't know that that's fair. You will unicorn horn and the golden fish. Well, I nab the phoenix egg. That will okay. be the quickest. The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. An it actual around, unicorn? over there. Look. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Geralt. It's not a real fish. Okay, not a real okay. unicorn either. Towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. Okay. The golden fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix egg hunters. This music goes so hard. Then let's get to it. I'm not exactly clear on it, uh, but th it's good enough. Sure, let's do it. This is very intense. Look for the unicorn in the clearing. Let's do that first. Oh, shit. Probably can go down this way. Okay. This is very tense. I know that we're supposed to be hurrying, but I just am going to say... Uh, I think it probably doesn't actually matter how fast we do it. So I'm still going to take a chance to actually soak up the environment around here. Flyer touting Est Est. Fantastic wine aged in the famed cellars of Castel, Castel Ravello. You'll be startled by the intensity of its smoky accents. Many years in Beauclair oak barrels have remarkably fortified its taste profile. Uh, as Duke Raymond himself was fond of noting. Okay. God, I have some other stuff to read too, but... I'm not gonna do it. Let's go get this unicorn. Are other people hunting? How is it the Duquesa does not feed him as well? No. The Duquesa? No. Your Highness, Your Grace. It's up this way, right? Right past Your here. Highness. It's an honor. Have you the unicorn. The skittish horse. Okay. <laughs> that does look funny. Or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister. Were you still a virgin? Excuse me? Do you really wish to have this conversation again? With your Here sister? Now? Hush, what? Or you'll spook the beast. We shall try the sweets. Hey, folks. Gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. <laughs> Who's that? Axie? Please? <laughs> Hi, friend. Hello.
No, no. Find a treat for the unicorn? Okay. Hmm. The treat up here somewhere? Oh, hello. Okay. What a weird goddamn quest we're off on already. Old game's not likely to tempt a unicorn. Old game? Nobleman is holding an actual whole baguette. Think unicorns. Rainbows, little girls, sweets maybe. You have a new quest item. Prepare it for use by placing it in an appropriate slot. Sure. Thief! How dare he! Scandalous! Listen, I stole your fucking sweet kick, but I think you'll be fine. I think you'll be just fine. Also, the deed to Corvo Bianco, by the way. We got that. We, that's the other thing that happened in the other in the other episode. I became a homeowner. Uh, we, Ana Henrietta, by the grace of the gods, Duchess of Toussaint, do hereby grant Geralt of Rivia crest to the bridge, the lands belonging to the estate of Corvo Bianco, together with all goods and chattel found thereon. Chattel? I don't know how you say that. Furthermore, Geralt of Rivia now becomes the owner of the estate and swears to see to its care and upkeep. I'm not going to have any time. This DLC is keeping me running around like crazy. Let it be known to all and sundry that in our fair domain, deeds of beauty shall never go unrewarded and the land shall never lie fallow, for both deeds and land exist to bear good fruit. I don't know what sundry means, and I'm going to Google it right now because I don't often have a good chance to learn a new word sundry just means of various kinds or several let it be known to all and sundry to like to everyone of various kinds to... huh i've heard of geek and sundry that's probably one of the main uses i've heard of sundry in recent years you know just like a collection of nerdy things geek and sundry so like sort of geek and other various stuff is how I'm reading that. Okay, new word, new word. Exciting. I'll uh, apply that in just a Cold second. Game's not likely to tempt a unicorn. I didn't mean to hit that button. I just want to see what this is. Crispy apple. Ripe apple. Like that, like any other damn horse. No, I want the. I want the. Uh, I actually want the sweet fragrant, but we'll try this first. How do I get rid of it? RB. There we go. It ah. says unic unicorn in quotation marks, by the way. Let's try this fragrant cake. I think that's more likely to have uh, an effect. Where did the fragrant cake go? I thought it was a quest item. Did I miss it? Hmm. Uh, because it's under food and drink, maybe? No. It's under weapons. Okay, that doesn't make sense to me. Almost had it. Hmm, because I got too close here. No, oh, listen, I have this fragrant cake. Oh, come back, you son of a bitch. Sweet tooth. Okay. So no sweet tooth. Apple? An apple. Yum yum. Hmm, hello. Alright. Catching murderers by taming horses. Easy. That's kinda cool. A clue from the Horn of a unicorn. Gardens are huge. Be better off on horseback. Yeah. Do you want me to ride the unicorn? Is that what you're saying? I can ride the unicorn. Oh my god. It said be better off on horseback. Here we are. That's my knees. This is crazy. There's so much to take in right now. Spot once I'm under. There's so much to take in right now with the uh, this whole new area. 
Swap the places? Did someone just dive in the water? Perhaps yes, that's I the did. way to do it. Sure, if you're a peasant. You're a peasant. All right. Just against that red light right there. Fake little fish. Wait, wait. Is that examine? Candy? Wait, is that not gold? Shit. Offie? Okay. This is the most rich person shit I've ever seen. I'm gonna drown. What is happening here? But my, is he manly? Look! Okay, I technically have already done this. Wait, shit. I'm already turned around. I've already done this one, apparently. But I haven't done these ones over here? Getting all turned around, sorry. Offy. That one looks golden. Hold the X button, or sorry, A button. Okay, there it is. What happened? Somebody take it? Hey, wait. Stop, it's important. Who is that? Is it the killer? King Cormorant Saya, accept this offering we bring. Prithi cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course doth trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, <laughs> a fitting tribute. <laughs> <laughs> a key. <laughs> Why, you bomb botched wretch? <laughs> no, it's the game. Disgraceful. <laughs> this is the most rich person shit I've ever seen. Incredible. Geralt's got no time for their shit. She's crying. Her whole year is ruined. She'll be telling this to her grandchildren about. Well, she'll be talking about it for years, about how pissed she is. About how the. Hey, I can hear you guys. I'm right here. Keep your clothes on. All right, let's get out of here. Meet the Duchess. Oh, I can ride the unicorn. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Any loot over here? Fish. Great. <clears throat> All right, go, we're off. Go. We've solved the puzzle. We must save Milton. You're By finding Anna Henrietta, that we may assemble the clues. Ah. Ooh, oh, ah. God, it's like we're at Disneyland. Oops, here, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Fighting the clap with crabs, by the way. That's such a beautiful comment. If you please, your grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But Phoenix it's egg, we need the it. Rules. I am the rules. Oh, shit. Geralt. At last. At last? I got, got two things. You just got your first. I have another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. I begin with a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. <laughs> In a cave in the palace pantry, it's a greenhouse. Someplace cramped. Got no idea. <laughs> oh, 
I suppose it could be a cave. A groan hollowed out. I don't know it groan like a noise that you would make. I don't know what that means. Is there another meaning for that word? Greenhouse is interesting. What does that even mean? I love that it's multiple choice and I don't have to come up with something off the top of my head because we all know how well that went with uh, Master Mirror. Um, and so the thing with the greenhouse that makes sense to me is... Wait, hold up. Greenhouse? I begin like a groan. Is it the is it the name itself? Hollowed out with ease. End like a mouse, greenhouse, with a heart of head cheese. Am I completely overthinking this? I feel like it's greenhouse. Wait, what? Let's see. Groan with ease gives us green, ease. right? Green. Yes! And mouse with the head of hard cheese. House. Greenhouse. greenhouse. You're a genius. Several greenhouses in the gardens. I'm a indeed, genius. But only one of the world locks, the key to which looks just like the one we found. Greenhouse it is then. Let's go. The Beast of Toussaint. Milton, I hope you're alive. I just got to know you, but I started to like you. I'm level 39 too. Wait here. He didn't like that. Wait here. I'm not used to being told to wait. I kind of like her. I think I like her. <gasps> Who the fuck is that? That's a higher vampire, 100%. He turned into a bat and I just uh, rolled off. Oh, he's bunch? teleporting. Uh, Holy shit. Uh, oh. Milton's dead for sure. Look at those claws. What was that? Wow. You gotta chop those fingernails, buddy. Oh my god. Parkour, parkour. This is incredible. Is it time for me to chase? Hauteville, Beauclair. Sneaky. Look at this blade. I love it with the uh, the two jagged edges. Okay. I'm here. This belonged to you, maybe? It did. But you may keep it. Uh-huh. Both I have a hands. New one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? I think the answer is many, but I want to keep the uh, upper hand in this conversation. <laughs> How many innocents have I cut down? I mean, here's the thing. I only started playing Geralt recently. Geralt lived a whole long life before that. And frankly, I think even myself, I accidentally cut down a couple innocents. You know? We lived a long life before that. Anyways, let's not get uh, all caught up on the weeds on that one. Not here to talk about me. Yet, that is exactly what we are doing. So... Did they send you after me? Who are they? What do you mean, they? Duchess hired me. You've been murdering her subjects. <laughs> Is it as simple as that? I would ask you to convey to the Duchess that I've but one victim left, but <sighs> you'll not get the chance. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Creepy looking. Death March, here we go. We're in trouble. Okay. The Beast of Beauclair. Blood let you kill again. Light you on fire just for fun. Real quick. Real quick. Gotta be a bestiary. Uh it says beast. 
It's got to be a higher vampire, right? Eyewitnesses to gruesome monster attacks always have a hard time describing the creature in question. Beasts move quickly and often attack at night. While the witnesses are terrified and primarily concerned with fleeing for their lives, as a result, witchers often have no inkling what creature they face until they face tracks, find tracks, or otherwise establish something for themselves. Such was the case with the beast tormenting Beauclair. Geralt knew it was deadly, elusive, fiendishly clever. Everyone else he heard was everything else he heard was clearly the product of imagination. I don't even know if it's this. It might be more than this. But Igni works. So let's do this. Let's try vampire oil. Uh which is like red, right? Or purple? This one. Uh, and then let's try... And I did not meditate after my last fight because I'm a dumbass, so I have no heals. Great. Let's try a black blood for sure. And then... Ooh, all right. This, te this teleporting ability is a pain in my asshole. Okay, we're just gonna have to dodge a lot right when he right when he teleports, I think. God, this does put me in the mood to watch Van Helsing. Does that movie hold up? It's been years since I've watched it. It's been literally twelve years. Ten years. Probably. When did that movie come out? Okay, we're really not doing a lot of damage. Igni's working okay, though. We're also not getting fucked up too bad by their damage. Just 1,300. He must just have so much HP. Alright, this is honestly going real well. Let's see what the next stages are like. Yep. Okay. A regening, a regening thing. Okay. No regen. No regen. Not allowed. I thought you would regen by sucking my blood. But no, not yet. Ow. Good hit. Good hit. Good hit. GG's. Good hit. Down to a third. Almost. Get behind him. Get behind him. There it is. Down to a third. What's your next phase like? Ouch. I like... He gets hit by fire and he like shakes it off with his hand. It's kind of funny. That attack looks so cool, and it's so easy to dodge. You know? Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Is it this easy? Are we going to get the kill right now? Or is he going to flee? You are to stay where you are. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself. No, he's my friend. What? Yes, Geralt. It's me. Regis? I... You all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear. 
having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak form, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. <laughs> I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. You have to go through so many pairs of clothing if you're just regularly having your heart ripped out like that. What the fuck? The skin will regen, but what happens to your clothing? Who is this guy? Regis? He's got the most incredible hairline of all time. And he keeps the Beast of Beauclair in check? You were supposed to regenerate, he said. You were supposed to stay home and regenerate. Stay home? Something like that. Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help from the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. Regis, you have the, be the best hair. It's incredible. It's a widow. Like, I dressed up as Vegeta from Goku, or sorry, from Dragon Ball Z this year for Halloween because of the hairline, because people like to make fun of my hairline with it, like, coming all the way down here. Um, Vegeta hairline, by the way. Um, Regis has got it a lot better, but he also has insane mutton chops, and also his hair just kind of is super short on the back and float. Look, I don't know how to describe it. Also, were you not a vampire last time I met you? Because it kind of sounds like Geralt doesn't know. I think you're a vampire with that regeneration ability, right? Were you also a vampire then? So you being here, it's no coincidence? Your powers of deduction seem to have waned not one bit. I'm happy. I came here for Tetlaf. I fear he'd become laugh. entangled. Landed himself in serious trouble. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is, how would you humans put it, more bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here, at least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand, Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. So I'm just supposed to accept he's doing it for a good reason and call it good? Don't give a damn about his motivations. Everyone's got their reasons, but he's crossed a line. Want him to stop. Don't give a damn why he's doing it. Perhaps you should. Motivations change the contours of all situations. A thief who steals to feed his family versus one who steals out of greed. Would you not treat them differently? Regis, I'm all on board. killing out of some worthy, dire need. I merely suggest he's not a bloodthirsty monster who murders simply for the joy of it. That's just not him. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. When you phrase it like that. Remember what the, the year 964? <laughs> that was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Okay, so that laughs a hero. That laughs a hero three hundred years ago. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple. Geralt is being a little in return. terribly noble of him. Close-minded. You do minded. not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Helga <laughs> Fort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? 
the oh. gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct. His tribal propensity. What's good for In everyone? In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. This is so fucking interesting. All is not right in Toussaint. This DLC just changed out from underneath me in a heartbeat. What the fuck? What's got him angered? Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. <laughs> suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. Huh. Regis is a fascinating character so far. A vampire, but Geralt trusts him implicitly. Utterly, it seems like. What's more, what's, I don't know if Geralt trusts him implicitly. What's more, I trust him implicitly. God, I hope at the end of this, Regis is not a bad guy because uh, Regis is like incredible strength of presence and uh and like sense of authority about this topic has me trusting him literally completely like i i'm i'm completely willing to change sides now i'm already like okay sure uh the knights uh whether or not they deserve to die remains to be seen but something is rotten in the state of toussaint and that laughs just trying to to right right wrongs now, of course, I'm also like, damn it, Ryan, you're switching sides so quickly. That can't be good. We, we need to get to the bottom of this. But... Gotta find him before something upsets him even more. And all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then. Just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast. Am I right? I don't know. All I've got a all. piece of land. Sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine. All right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I've makeshift quarters at Mela Shays Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Turns invisible and disappears. Incredible. Huh. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. <clears throat> Sus! We must let the witcher do his work. How Milton's interesting. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Milton's murder. Milton's dead for sure. Okay. Well. Blood run is completed. First things first, we're going to meditate. Because these days on Death March, we meditate after every fight. Second off, let's take a look at these quests. La cage. La cage. I don't know how to say that. Also, we have ourselves a home. Regis. Okay. That is not where I expected this story to go at all. 
wow, I'm going to sit here and try and process. And as I process, I'm going to do a couple uh, a couple completely innocuous things in my inventory, like crafting any of these that I can craft just because I'm sitting here uh, thinking. We're hunting the beast, except it turns out the beast may have an incredible motive uh, that... means that the knights should have died. I wonder how Anna Henrietta will feel about this. I wonder how Damien will feel about this. What could Detlaf's motive... I mean, is it as simple as Detlaf's motive about the five virtues is... is correct and so and that those those knights had done some some dastardly shit beyond even what I could what I would consider. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do some character reading here. Damn. Damien de la Tour, one of the people Geralt encountered at the Beauclair court was Captain Damien de la Tour, captain of the Ducal Guard. He was absolutely and unconditionally to say unthinkingly would be unfair, yet not entirely inaccurate, devoted to his position and worshiped the ground that the Duchess walked on. Devoted to your position is not a particularly good thing in my book. If you want my personal opinion, he was most definitely besotted with her. He came across as a typical soldier, a thick-headed lackey, who, seeing Geralt, immediately decided he must prove who had the more massive unmentionables. Honestly, to me, it's not the unmentionables. It's his sense of, like, honor. It seemed to me like De La Tour was, like, takes so much pride in doing his job well. Detlaf, Van der Eratien. Milton's murderer was very swift. Even with years of witchering under his belt, Geralt could barely keep up with him. That was an insane scene, running down the cliff on the boat. It was crazy. Uh, soon it became clear the killer was as clever as he was fast. By entering an old warehouse where he set a trap for Geralt, we had an incredibly fun fight. Of course, even if we'd have killed him, it wouldn't have mattered because he could just regenerate, but sure. In this way, Geralt had his first face-to-face -face encounter with the Beast of Beauclair and discovered it was a higher vampire named Detlaf. At least we called that. At least we called vampirism before that all started happening. Because we have certainly not called the plot in terms of what's happening with Regis. A fight immediately ensued, which might have ended very badly for the Witcher had he not been saved in the nick of time by an old friend. Motherfucker, I was about to win that fight. Detlaf fled in a puff of fog. Emil Regis Rohelic Terzif God God Godefroy. This is going to have some background, it sounds like, and I'm very excited. I hope so. Geralt chased Sir Milton's murderer with mad intensity. How this chase ended stands as clear witness to the fact that Geralt was facing a highly dangerous foe. The killer led Geralt to an old warehouse where it set a trap for him. A fight ensued. At a crucial moment, Geralt was saved by Regis. A higher vampire, vampire and old friend. Here I must explain that years ago, Regis had joined Geralt's band of fellow travelers, of which I was a proud part, and set off with us in search of Ciri. Together we lived through many fascinating adventures, and Regis proved himself a loyal friend, the kind you can trust with your life. Sadly, the expedition ended tragically for Regis. He was blown up and smeared across a wall. He was killed by Vil Vilgeforts, who reduced him to nothing more than a wet stain. Hence the Witcher's immense surprise at encountering his, his old friend. After all, he'd seen Regis die with his own eyes. The thing is, that was not Regis' final death, nor even his first. Whew. As a young man, Regis had been a bit of a free spirit and overindulged in the drinking of blood. This lifestyle led to him being butchered by angry villagers. Regenerating from that took him 50 years, or nearly no time at all for an immortal. When he was back in full health, he kicked the habit of blood drinking for good. Wait, what? As a young man, not a vampire, he drank blood? I mean, that sounds like he was a vampire in that case. You can't just be a man and drink blood and start regenerating, right? Yeah, I mean, or, I don't know. For years, he would, we'd all thought he was gone forever. Yet there he was, standing in front of Geralt in that dockside warehouse. Regis explained he had regenerated and come to Toussaint to find Detlaf, a friend. 
Such, such were the dramatic circumstances bringing Regis and Geralt together again in Beauclair. They did not have long to enjoy the reunion, however. They could hear others approaching. They were going to meet at a ceremony where he'd made a temporary home for himself. Does he have a, uh, a, uh, a coffin? Now, one more time here. Higher vampires. Anything here? Debt laugh. Vulnerable Quinn, Black Blood, and Vampire Oil. So Igni wasn't particularly powerful, but um I'm gonna read this because this is still the beast that we're trying to find. And then we're probably gonna call it an episode because uh we're almost out of time already. Holy shit. Detlaf is a higher vampire, one of the most terrifying creatures the world has ever known. Sorry, I should read the, the flavor text. It was horrifying to watch. That gentleman suddenly turned into a ghastly beast with claws and tore those men to shreds with the precision of a master butcher. Detlaf is a higher vampire, one of the most terrifying creatures the world has ever known. Some vampires of his sort live among men easily and inconspicuously, sometimes even gaining the respect and admiration of their community. Yet even the most civilized vampires can be incredibly dangerous if provoked. In Detlaf, Detlaf was far from civilized. When in his two-legged form, Detlaf strikes in surprising and unique ways. One must be extremely alert and attentive. His razor-sharp claws, wielded with great strength and precision, are his chief weapons. Yet he can also wield weapons of human devising with extraordinary skill. Like all higher vampires, Detlaf can turn into fog and envelop opponents. When fighting a vampire in this form, you have to watch out for magic puddles and attacks from the air. When wounded, he assumes his winged form, stunning his foes. Higher vampires are immortal creatures. They do not fear for their lives while fighting, meaning they can take every risk. They're able to turn invisible, regenerate strength during combat. Supremely difficult foes. Yeah, I've done it twice now. It's been very difficult, difficult each time. Anything in here? I mean, there's some blood here. Did I use that? Should I, should I take some and keep it? I don't know if that's useful in... Killing a vampire for good. Um, okay. Oh, there's a book here. Purchasing brief. Toy inventory. Okay. Let's also read this. Ends like a mouse with the head of hard cheese. Yes. Sure, sure. Okay. Well, is there anything up top that I should take a look at? Oh, there might be, which is good because I need to make some money. How do I even get to the other side, though? Oh, over here. Wait. How do I even get up there? Do I have to jump? Either way, that's probably going to do it for this episode. Um, shit! Major surprises. That's not going to work. Major surprises. Holy shit. Uh, we might be on the higher vampire's side? <laughs> At the very least, we ought to see what Regis is all about. So, there's that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and level up some stuff that I already have. So... Let's do poison blades. We, we're trying to use poison blades all the time. Upgrade, upgrade that ability. Uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like or a positive comment helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, I'm going to record another one, and I'll see you tomorrow for that. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.